take. I'm not here because I did everything that was right. I'm not here because I didn't fail or fall down. But I'm here because I got back up. Who am I preaching to the night? They know what I'm talking about. That the devil came in like a flood and knocked you out. But the Bible decreed and declared that God will live up a standard against it. In other words, God going to lift me back up. I don't care how bad the battle seems. I understand tonight that the victory is already mine. The reason why I understand that the victory is mine because the battle has already been fought. And Jesus got the sting out of death. He got the victory out of the grave. And so anything the devil bring against me, I said the greater power on the inside is greater than the powers of hell that stand against me tonight. You have to understand and realize that the greater power is on the inside of you. You got to understand who you are tonight. That you are a mighty man or a mighty woman of valor. You can't be looking down at yourself and feeling sorry for yourself. But you ought to look in the mirror at yourself and say I'm looking at greatness. You ought to look in the mirror at yourself and say I'm looking at an overcomer. You ought to look at yourself and you ought to look in the mirror and tell yourself I'm the one that the devil knocked down but he couldn't keep me down because the power of God picked me back up. That's why I like what Brother Paul said when he was talking to the Roman church. Paul said who shall separate us from the love of Christ? He said shall tribulation or distress. He said persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. He said as it is written for thy sake. In other words the thing that I'm going through when I'm coming concerning the gospel I'm going through because of his sake. Jesus said for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But I like what it says in verse number 37. It says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conqueror through him that loved us. Somebody lift your hand and say, I'm more than a conqueror. Say, I am an overcomer. Say, I am a victor. I'm not a victim, but I'm a victor. Lift your hands up and say, I got the victory right now. Because when I look in the book, the book says that now, Lord, have mercy. In all these things, we're more than conquerors. He said we're more than a conqueror. I look this word up in the Greek text. And the Greek definition for conqueror is uh, it means to vanish beyond, uh, to vanquish beyond rather. Uh, it means to gain a decisive, decisive victory. And so now when I say I'm more than a conqueror, uh, what I'm saying is that I have a decisive victory. Uh, just like when Lemon got the victory over hers, uh, that's the victory we have over the devil. Uh, why we in the middle of the battle, it don't seem like we're coming out on the top. Uh, sometimes it seems like we're just spinning our wheels. Uh, Sometimes it seems like we're not effective. Sometimes it seems like the devil getting the best of us. But the fact of the matter is, it ain't over to God say it's over. I want to let y'all know today that no matter how bad things get in your life, I don't care what kind of pressure you're under, I don't care what kind of stress that you're going through. I say it's not over to God say it's over. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I thank you right there. Because when I look at the word conqueror, this word it means more than conqueror. It means conquer over. It means it means it mean above. It means beyond. It means across. When I look at this word, it means a whole lot of different things. And so the greatest thing that I get out of it, that it means that I gain a decisive victory. And so now today, I want to get your mind right tonight. I want to get your mind to the point where defeat is out of your vocabulary. I want to get your mind to the place tonight. I will fail you. It's out of your vocabulary. I want to get your mind to the place tonight where I can't is out of your vocabulary. I want you to get to the place in your mind tonight that you make up your mind that I will never be defeated again. I don't care. I might get a few bumps and bruises, but I'm not going to be defeated. Who am I preaching to tonight that no one got a shadow of a doubt that before the battle is over, I don't have to wait till the battle is over. I can start giving God the right now. Why? Because I know without a shadow of a doubt. When I come out, I'm coming back on top. When I come out, I'm coming out with a shout. When I come out, I'm coming out with a praise. When I come out, I'm coming out with a dance. When I come out, I'm coming out with victory. Who am I talking to the night? That the devil had you on the run. But you backed up in a corner. You told the devil. I ran as long as far as I can go. I'm backed up as far as I'm going I'm not backing up in the morning, coming out with a fight. I want to talk to some violent saints tonight. So 
of Satan not afraid to open their mouth and tell the devil. If you think you lost that one that last time, I'm coming back for some more. If you think you got me down the last time, I'm rising back up this time. And this time when I rise back up, I'm rising with a great anointing. I'm rising back up this time with more power. I'm rising up this time. And I'm not rising up by myself. But God got a mighty army standing behind me. And all the hosts of heaven standing behind me. So this time when I rise up, I'm rising up with somebody that's going to touch and agree with me tonight. That we already got the victory. Who am I preaching to the today? That no one got a shadow of a doubt. Before the battle is over, give somebody a high five right there. And say, before the battle is over, join me in a shout. Join me in a praise party. Join me in a dance. Say, before the battle is over, let's act like we're about to lose our mind. And give God the glory. Because we understand and realize that the victory is already in my life. Sit down and rest yourself. So now, tonight, tonight, I'm trying to get your mind right tonight. That you make up your mind, I'll never be defeated. You may be down, but you're not out. You may be in the valley, but you're coming up. You might be broke now, but that don't mean you're gonna stay broke. You may be sick now, but that don't mean you're gonna stay sick. Am I right about it today? We're not going to accept the mindset of defeat any longer. Look at your neighbor and say, change your mind, change your mind. Say so you got to change the way you think. Say so change your mind. I come to let y'all know today. You are chip off the old block. Somebody said, preacher, what you talking about? The seed of Jesus is on the inside of you. You got his DNA running all inside of you. And so now if I got his DNA, I'm coming down on the inside of me. How in the world could the devil think that he could beat me? When I looked at the book and the book says in the book of Genesis the book said and God said let us make man in our own image oh have mercy after our likeness and then the book said let him have dominion look at your neighbor and say I got dominion tonight say I got power tonight say I got power to rule and to reign tonight so God said I want you to have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over the cattle of all the earth and everything Thing that creeping up on the face of the earth. And so now when I look at the book, when I look at the word image, I'm made in his image. This word image is a copy in his likeness of something. And so now I'm made in his likeness. So every time I look in the mirror myself, I ought to see a little bit of Jesus. But y'all ain't saying nothing there. And so now image is a copy in the likeness of something. Look at your neighbor and say, look at me. Say every time you see me, you ought to see a little bit of Jesus. Am I right about it today? And then the Bible says, I'm made in his likeness. This word likeness means resemblance. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care if you say my head too big, my ears too big. I don't care if you say my feet too small. I don't care if you say my lips too big. I'm made in his likeness. And they're talking about his likeness, that's his resemblance. Yeah, every time you look at me, you see a little bit of him. I got it all in my DNA. I'm covered by his blood. You know it is in the natural sense. In the natural sense, your relatives, they can tell who your relatives are. Why? Because they take a blood sample. And when they take the blood sample, the DNA test come out. And normally the DNA says that that is the daddy. That's exactly what I said. And so now I look at my DNA. I got the blood, the blood of Jesus. I said, run it all down through my veins. And so now, Lord have mercy. He became what I am so I can become who he is. And so now I was a victim, but now I'm a victor. I was defeated, but now I got victory. But y'all ain't saying nothing there. And so now when I look at the word dominion, when I think about this word, it blows my mind. Because this word means to tread down. This word means to subjugate. This word means to have dominion over. This word means to crumble. Look at your neighbor and say, we're almost there. Say, we get ready to climb this mountain. This word, it means prevail against. This word, it means to reign. This word means to bear, to make the rule over. And so now when I look at what the book says, 